Well, South Australia have been getting plenty of knocks, Frank, but uh, they're not going to the Rovers. They're just going anywhere. And uh, this is uh, uh, usually a strength in their uh, area in the ruck with Rick Davies. But I think that they've got to throw him back on the ball and uh, drop possibly Andy Bennett into centre-half forward, Frank. Well, Wilson with the free kick now for Victoria on their right half-back flank position. Hand pass to Moore. Victoria now to the right half forward flank, but a kick behind the plate and taking the mark is Carey of South Australia. Quickly to Klopp, into centre half forward. Oh, easiest of marks missed there by Dunstan. Corns into the pack, knocks to Jonas. Chance now for Rick Davies, goes without the ball. Victoria come away coolly in defence through the boot of Crow. Right centre wing. Schimmelbush a chance, taken on by Gallagher. Also Bennett. Bennett with a short kick. Gallagher. In towards centre half forward, Jonas on the lead, pushes the ball in front, kicks short now into centre half forward and dropping down into that space is Jeff Morris of South Australia. Morris is marked on the true centre half forward position. South Australia kicking towards the left of your screen, left footer. It's a drop punt, sets it up high, lets the breeze do the work and a good kick from Morris and a good goal to South Australia. Yes, they've started attacking well, South Australia, and that was a, a fine goal kick by Morris. He uh, he used the ball well in the first quarter and uh, just got through over the line there, but uh, that should give him a lot of heart, Frank. Yes, 7-10-52, Victoria, 5-3-33, and uh, for the end of the league, you have just joined it, uh, South Australia kicking with the breeze towards the left of the screen. Pretty good day for football here. Playing a great part, but is blowing towards the left, and uh, that kick going the way of Peter Carey came on as an interchange player. And that's the way to kick him a 70 metre kick right down the middle. Corns from the back! Beautiful Mark Graham Corns. Well, this is a fellow that won the Simpson medal here back in July playing for South Australia, and that would certainly be the mark of the match and probably the mark of the month at the moment. He threw himself at one a while ago, now let's see if his kick matches the mark. There's the Glenelg player, puts it towards full forward, it looks pretty good from here, and South Australia are on their way back. He's certainly a sensational player, Corns. Uh, what an excellent mark. Uh, Kerry kicked the long ball down, and that's the way they're trying to use it in this forward line, because they've got two high flyers there in Corns and Blight, and uh, that should uh, lift them now. And, uh, Frank, I think that uh, Victoria will have to fight a lot harder. No doubt about that. Four and a half minute mark in this second quarter of play and South Australia kicking the ball long, which is the way to play it and straight down the centre. Interference at the centre bounce down. Moore queries the umpire. The free kick going to South Australia's Carey. Long oh. kick again. Here's Blight on the lead and Blight has taken the mark. South Australia all fired up at this stage and doing it very, very well indeed. Well, the distance wouldn't be beyond Malcolm Blight. 50 metres out. The long kick on the way. He sets it up beautifully, and another goal on the board to South Australia. Peter Carey has started both of those moves uh, with long kicks down the forward line, and they're two prime movers in that area in Corns and Blight. Kick both of those valuable goals. Well, 7 10 52 Victoria, 7 3 uh, South Australia, 45, and uh, certainly plenty of life in this quarter. There he is, Malcolm Blight. Gary medalist, Brownlow medalist, now with North Melbourne and uh, certainly playing well today. There's Kerry in there again. Gets a hand, he's going to get another kick. He's had three kicks in two minutes at the moment and he's kicked 70 metre kicks and I bet South Australian viewers loving every moment of this. There's another one, a beautiful kick from Kerry. That's the way to kick him. Corns is in there, so is Blight. Blight under the boot. One goal and South Australia are now one point behind and what a game of football. It's certainly come to life, uh, Bob. Uh, certainly, uh, Peter Carey's a fellow that's uh, given them a lot of uh, drive. Three long kicks down of that area has resulted in three excellent goals. Now, if that doesn't lift them, nothing will. Well, I thought it was a very good move then uh, from the point of view of the uh, Ruckman uh, from Victoria and Peter Moore. He immediately signalled for Dempsey that uh, to come down onto the ball. So we'll see what Dempsey can do to try and stop the uh, South Australian run. Up they go. Tapped away by Ruck Rover Bennett. On the run goes Hudgman. Long kick towards full forward. Last line of defence. Victoria desperate. Coming through as folds. In goes Lindsay. Hodgman with a chance. Across the face of goals. 
Dunstan. Oh. And the ball finally out of bounds, left full forward pocket. Well, the pressure well and truly on Victoria now. As we wait on the throw-in. Dempsey oh. and Rick Davies. Interference, says the umpire. Davies well, was, doesn't like it, Frank. No, well, Davies was prepared to put his body in front of Dempsey, who came charging down, and, uh, well, there was only one way for Gary Dempsey to go. He couldn't stop. And uh, Rick Davies has a big chance now to uh, boot South Australia in front. They've only been playing about seven minutes in this second quarter, and they've already added four goals, one, which is good football. Davies in, and he makes no mistake. Another six-pointer on the board to South Australia. Those goals have certainly given the South Australian players a lot of confidence and Rick Davies, who is an inspiring leader, always puts his body in well for the ball and he played for that free kick and uh, he's put through a fine goal. We're about uh, eight minutes in to this second quarter and umpire Phillips to put the game in motion. There's Kerry still on the ball but Dempsey gets a hit this time. Tuck coming in. By Phillips, he's picked the kick out, and it's going to Nan Kervis also on the ground. A couple of changes by Victoria in this quarter, and the kick must come back to Nan. No, it's Tuck. Michael Tuck will take it. Right in the centre of the ground, the uh, Victorian and Hawthorne Ruck Rover. Has not been in the play a great deal today, and perhaps a few of these players will need to lift, but there goes a good kick from Tuck. Looking for Templeton. Or more. Plenty of players up. Well picked out of the pack there towards the half-forward flank. Max James is there, plenty of pace, look at this fellow go. He's got the lead further field, he's told Jonas, Jonas is loose on the half forward flank. He's using the breeze, oh, not a good kick from Jonas. Oh, Graham spilled it there on the line. <laughs> Great passage of play by South Australia, but the ball unfortunately has gone out of play and the kicking to take place. No, it's a throw in, it must have been touched before it went over the line, a throw in about 10 metres around from the right behind post in South Australian territory. 57 to 52 in favour of South Australia. Rick Davies is there, oh, takes the front spot. South Australia are using their bodies now and throwing themselves in and umpire capes. He's going to bounce it down once more. Billy Pickham was on the bottom of that lot. Bumped out by Max Crown, it's a good one. Finds Nan Kervis, a poor old kick from Nan Kervis, and the kick in, of course, will come to South Australia. Well, South Australia dictating the tune of play as we come to the 10 minute mark in the second quarter. And we're going to see Morris now to drive the ball uh, further downfield for South Australia. Moving in, this left footer sets it up for the high flyer. Blight sets or oh, got the sit over the top of uh, Moore, but uh, interference says umpire Capes and Moore to take the free kick. <laughs> I noticed that Dempsey gave him a backhand of the teammates back in Victoria. <laughs> Might have only been a love tap, Bob. Anyway, we'll see now what Moore does. And he drives towards the right centre wing. Dempsey a chance or oh, good strength mark taken on by Kerry and oh, Dempsey wants to have a piece of the big fella. So uh, the two big fellas have decided that uh, they would lock horns temporarily and now uh, a bit of sanity reigns. The hand pass to Dunstan. Up towards the centre of the ground. Cloak with strength. Oh. Beautiful mark. Good mark by the Victorian centre half forward David Cloak. Hand pass now onto Reigns. Right half forward flank. Up towards full forward. South Australia in the van and take the mark there through Taylor. Taylor steadying the game down. The lead out wide towards the right half back flank out of side, but Turner in the way for Victoria and will boot them back forward as he sees plenty of Victorian players loose at centre half forward. Wilson with the ball. Steadies, not a good kick for one point only. So Victoria's first score in the second quarter. On the scoreboard, South Australia, nine goals, three. Victoria, seven goals, 11, as we come to the 12-minute mark in the second quarter of play. Very unlike uh, Gary Wilson, they're usually a pretty reliable kick from goal. And there's a good kick out right towards the outer flank. Dempsey lurking in the background. Picked up once more by Turner. Plenty of pace, this fellow. He's run to centre half forward, he's in trouble. And he's holding the ball, says the umpire. Ran that fraction too far. And a good tackle put on him there by Russell Ebert and he'll take the kick. Boots a long one towards the far flank. Plenty of players out there. Carey's one of them, and he takes a mark. He certainly sparked this revival for South Australia. Puts it down to Jonas. Well played, Jonas. He handballs into no man's land. Billy Pickett. Ooh. Oh, he's going around in circles at the moment. And it's at half forward now. Here's a chance for Bennett. He sees the lead to Jonas, and Jonas takes a mark. Well, well played, Bennett. And bad play there by Pickett. Went right around in a circle and back into play instead of turning defensive. Peter Jonas, 
been a pretty handy player on that half forward line. He's 40 metres out and the angle not great. Kick from Jonas. He's used the breeze. He's put it in towards full forward, but it's offline and through only for the minor score at the 13 minute mark. 58 South Australia, 53 Victoria. Well, more to bring the ball into play. Goes short as he sees uh, Foles in that uh, right fullback pocket position. Up towards the right halfback flank. Chance for Flower. Oh, dear me. Could have got a free kick, but play on, says the umpire. And there's the square off in my book because uh, that is Irwin getting it for Victoria on the right halfback flank. Kicks long towards right centre wing. All the Oof. big fellas are camped in there and all the high flyers. The ball to the ground. Ebert a chance. Hand pass to Stray. Good play, Flower. Hand pass to Cloak. Cloak then onto the penetration of Reigns. Ooh, clap <laughs> high. Steadies. Gets the free kick. Tell you what. And he kicked a point and could have steadied a little bit more. So Victoria boot their second point for the quarter. South Australia 9-4. Victoria moved to 7-12. And the ball coming into play now by Sorrell. And a good cookout looking for Phillips. Phillips is in the back of Cloak. And Cloak must take the kick. Well, the crowd don't like it, but it was definitely on there. Phillips flew too early in the back of Cloak there. David Cloak, who's been a pretty good player on that forward line, not getting a great deal of support. Now he's gone for the long kick, looking for Templeton. Into the pocket goes. Plenty of South Australian players there. Flicked out, but it's Irwin waiting for it. He's only about 30 metres out. Allowed to get his kick. Kicked a high one to all four forward. It looks pretty good from here. It is. And there's the eighth goal on the board to the Vex. Peter Cloak is definitely, uh, David Cloak at least, has definitely given them drive at centre half forward there. But Victoria uh, seem rattled. They're not uh, having that uh, easy game that they thought they may have had. They're not moving the ball as well as I thought they would have. And uh, they've got to improve a lot. Well, a little filly you saw on your screen just a moment ago, Irwin, was a beautiful sidestep for him to kick that goal. More. Ball sharked by Corn, South Australia, oh. set a half forward, and a great mark there, taken uh, by, it looks like it's Lindsay. By G, got into the air very, very well indeed. Got a great reputation in South Australia, this young fellow. Uh, yeah, and a good footballer too. He shows a ton of courage and prepared to commit himself every time for the ball. True set a half forward position. Kick up towards the edge of the square. Crow a chance. Knocked to the ground. Bennett goes it through and kicks into an open goal and snaps truly. Victoria certainly making mistakes. Uh, Crow flew up with uh, Kelvin Moore then and uh, two Victorian players in the air. And Andy Bennett weighted down and was able to pick up that loose ball and uh, put a fine snap through. <laughs> Kick get on the ground is Jeff Rains with 12. Blight has nine. Eight to Ebert and Lindsay and seven to Turner. So some great kick getters out there as the ball's put in motion once more. Terry Moore flying, but it's sharked by Hodgman. South Australia on their mantle at the moment. Bruce Dool underneath it. Can't take the mark, but he's paid the kick. And the Carlton defender, who's been a very good player over a number of years, will take his kick at half back. Puts it in towards the centre, looking for Templeton. Button gets it. James trying to come through. A lot of trouble going on out there. Ebert's in there too. Oh, look like holding the ball it is. The kick must go to Victoria. Picked up by Reigns. He's a clever player out there. Gives it to uh, Brownlow medalist Terry Moore. Towards half forward. Miles high in there. Nobody can get it. Gallagher can. Oh, he's handballed to the wrong player. He gave it to Wilson to Tuck. Tuck's only 30 metres out. There's a mistake that cost a goal. The boot from Michael Tuck and right through the centre. Very creative handball by Gary Wilson then, and uh, Michael Tuck made no mistake about it. And that uh, should start to get Victoria going, but uh, Peter Moore uh, put, let go a high kick then instead of looking uh, for someone further afield, and uh, they're making a lot of errors, but that will give them a lot of heart, that goal. Well, Michael Tuck then in good form. That's his first uh, goal for the day, and we come up to the 17-minute mark, and Victoria have moved to a two-point advantage, 66 to 64. Moore and Button. South Australia doing better in the ruck duels at centre bounces. A chance there uh, for Reigns. The ball finally socket out wide. Right half forward flank for South Australia. Lindsay with possession. Kick short. Moore takes the mark for Victoria. Centre half back position. Playing on quickly. Towards the right centre wing. Schimmelbusch a chance. Crumbs to Flower. 
beautiful anticipation. One bounce, two, over the right half forward flank. Oh, they got players loose everywhere, Templeton and Irwin. And uh, it looked to me as if Irwin said to Templeton, it's mine, and just steadied and took the mark. Done a lot of damage, Robert Flower, Frank. Oh, great player. Perfectly balanced, Bob, when he gains possession of the ball, kicks with either foot, and uh, knows what he's going to do with it, and knows exactly where he is. Irwin. Oh, dear me, he hasn't got his kicking boots on today. Victoria, again, inaccurate. They move on the board to nine goals, 13. South Australia, 10 goals, four, as we come to the 18-minute mark in this quarter. Well, Victoria started to come back a bit uh, somewhat, uh, Kevin, but uh, they can't find the big opening. No, they've, uh, they're not teaming as well together. As I mentioned earlier, Frank, you often used to watch the Victorian sides where they sprinted out and led well for the ball, and at times they're overdoing the handball when they can get a kick in and they're not passing well to one another. Well, somebody who should know all about interstate games, that's a former Victorian champion, Kevin Murray, with those comments. The ball to be thrown in outer side, left half forward flank. Neil Button still on the ball and so is Gary Dempsey. Dempsey from the back flicks it over, taken by Phillips, but he can't get away. Corn's coming in. Wilson there battling. Wilson at centre half forward over to Nan Kerr. got a clear run in front of him with that left foot kick. And he drives it in towards full forward. It's a good kick. It's got the distance and the accuracy. Great goal, Nan Kervis, to give uh, Victoria a further lead. Gary Wilson certainly using a lot of handball today, as he does in most of his club matches. And uh, another creative hand pass by Wilson over to Bruce Nan Kervis and a long goal by Nan Kervis. And uh, Victoria certainly um, is showing a little bit. Well, we'll see what South Australia will do now. They certainly uh, dictated the tune of play in the first 10 minutes of this second quarter. Victoria have come back strongly now to lead by nine points. Button and Moore opposed. Bit of jostling going on, and uh, whistle's blown, and Button gets the free kick. They've done pretty well in centre bounce downs, Kevin, South Australia. Yes, yeah, see, they've, they've got that uh, ability to uh, leap high, and often with their rack rovers, sure. too. Well, there's a kick there, and a good lead from Button towards the centre-half forward position, and Bright on the lead, uh, Blight, I should say, on the lead, took the good mark. Malcolm Blight playing very well today for South Australia. He's already kicked three majors. And that's his tenth kick for the day. Coming in now. Up towards full forward, or oh, two Victorians up, nobody on the deck. Davies takes it easily. Oh, oh dear me. He really put his Rover <laughs> Lindsay under the pump. Then, you know, he could have kicked it, Bob. He certainly could, could have, have kicked it. He would have been about eight metres out when he handballed that ball and thought probably the, the other player was in a better position. But there it goes, the kick in now, and uh, this game very delicately poised at the moment as the ball comes out towards a half forward line. Klopp come right down from half forward. Jonas is in there. Here's a chance now as the ball goes forward to Fry, an interchange player come on, he's put his boot to the ball, and he's put the 11th goal on the board to South Australia. Eddie Fry has just come on the ground and uh, received a good hand pass in and uh, has put a fine goal on, for, on the board for South Australia, and uh, they've certainly got a lot of fights still left in them. Yes, 10-13 Victoria, 73-11-5, 71 South Australia. We're just at the 20-minute mark in this second quarter, and a great game of football here. A little bit of light rain falling out there, but not affecting the players, and the breeze still blowing towards that left. Worth probably a couple of goals at the moment at least. Back with umpire Capes. Button still on the ball, and Dempsey's there with him. Picked up by Corns. There's a long kick towards Hodgman. Foles is with him. Hodgman in front. There he is, Blake, working in the background, but he can't pick it up. Kelvin Moore can. Puts it up to Turner. He's surrounded by South Australian players. Very close to the line out there. Corns once more, he's been in everything to date. Still keeping the ball in play. Falls in front. Now it's Pickin, I think, and he'll take the kick on that outer side. Well, he's on the left half-back flank. Kicks the ball in towards the centre. Dempsey a chance. Takes the mark on his chest and watched pretty closely by Button. Dempsey's kick in towards centre half-forward. Clomp in the way, spills the mark. Cloak a chance. Off the ground over towards Irwin. Irwin watched pretty closely there by Taylor. But the short, hurried kick falls short, and South Australia mark in defence. Phillips now driving to the right half-back flank on the outer side. Two flyers, Tuck and James. Ball to the ground. Tuck kicks long, but does not kick accurately. One point to Victoria. They move to 10 goals, 14. South Australia, 11-5, as we come to the 23-minute mark in this second quarter of play. 
Sorrell to bring the ball in for South Australia. Goes short to the right fullback pocket position, finds Carey. His kick towards the right centre wing. The ball knocked away, a chance for Reigns, but it eludes him. Ebert with the ball. Up towards centre half forward, Jonas. Too high, too soon. Coming away in defence is Falls now for uh, Victoria. Up towards uh, the centre of the ground and a good mark by Michael Tuck. Tuck sees a lead out wide as Flower drifts into the play. Oh, Cloak and Flower nearly collide, but good talking between these players and Cloak marks for Victoria. Just forward of the right half forward flank. Not many leads offering. The signal is to kick long and high, but then in goes short. Wilson, oh, missed the easiest of chest marks. The ball to the ground. South Australia back into business now with Ru Russell Ebert has the ball. And Russell Ebert in the centre. Triple mark, Madeira Nidalis puts it down towards half forward. And a great mark to Kim Hodgman. Hodgman on the half forward flank, wastes no time. Puts it in towards half forward. The chance over the back to Graham. He gets it further field to Davies from 30 metres out on the boat from Davies. What's he done? He has kicked one point. 11-6, 72 South Australia, 10-14-74. Great opportunity there for Davies, uh, Kevin. Yes, he looked like he would have got a definite goal, Bob, because he was in the centre of the area to kick it and uh, costly miss. Kelvin Moore goes for the short pass out there and finds Gary Foles. He's at half-back, puts it up towards the centre. Plenty of pressure on out there. Chance once more for this young player, Lindsay, but it eludes him this time. Over to Tuck, playing well in this quarter. Gets further field to Wilson. Well played, Gary Wilson. He puts it further field too. Victoria all over the moment. Taken by Turner. He's at half forward. A long kick in towards full forward. Jostling going on there between two players. And Terry Moore has played the kick. Well, there's a one-out duel there, but the umpire said that Moore was held, and... Uh, the crowd don't like it, but Moore has got the kick and only about 15 metres out. i tell you what, Bob, <laughs> Gary didn't like it either. <laughs> the guy on his mark. Peter Moore, the Brownlow medalist now coming in. Makes no mistake about this one and a very valuable goal at the 25-minute mark to Victoria. <laughs> Put back on the ball, he's the one that started, started it all, it all off, off, didn't he? Well, waiting for the bounce down in the centre. Good quarter of football. 11 goals between these sides at this stage. Dempsey taps. Tuck. Up towards full forward. A one-out duel again between Carey and Moore. Carey with a front berth. Tapped away. Over towards Taylor of South Australia. Right half-back flank. Out of sight. Oh. Horns into the air. James a chance, but it's Reigns who reads it well. Coming through, drawn a play. Oh, do you think he put more under the pump? Bartlett back on the ground. Tries to thread through a pack. Oh, luckily, grabbed too high. South Australian players don't like that. Dispute the umpire's decision, but Bartlett has the free kick. Had a very quiet game, this fellow, Kevin. He's been off the ground, I know, but uh, could not do nothing in the first quarter. Three kicks to Kevin Bartlett only at the moment. But he kicked a, a valuable goal before when he came on the ground, but he was in all sorts of trouble then uh, because he had South Australian players all around him. Well, this we'll see whether this is a valuable kick too because uh, Bartlett doesn't make much mistake about it. And he puts another goal on the board to Victoria. Yeah, Kevin Bartlett, an experienced player, and um, he got the benefit of the doubt then from the umpire, but at least he made no mistake about it, and he's put it right through the centre. And Victoria have uh, gained a couple of goals break at this stage, and uh, South Australia have um, need to uh, respond well from that ruck. But I agree with you, they should put Carey back on the ball because he was the fellow that gave them the lift when they needed it. He certainly was. 12-14, Victoria 86 lead, 11-6, South Australia 72. Corns trying to take it away with him as Bartlett over the back of Corns and he'll take the kick. And the big crowd roaring here and I think most of them on the side of course of the underdog South Australia. There's a kick going to Hodgman. He's been a lively rover in this quarter. And a 15 metre penalty. Well he's penalising the side a little bit there because uh, the South Australian player was clear. But of course he'd whistle it up before the punch went so it goes back to Kim Hodgman. Hodgman kicks a long one towards full four looking for Blight. He can't mark it. Front was Eddie Fry trying to pick it up. James comes in now. Picked up by Graham. He's left-footed it towards full four, and that's a very valuable goal to South Australia. 
tenacious player, Michael Graham. We, we saw some of his ability when he played against Western Australia earlier this year, but uh, barred in well for the ball then, and uh, he snapped back a quick reply. Oh, well, waiting for the ball now, coming back into the centre ground. Malcolm Blight just being spoken to by the runner, and he um, was right in the thick of things early in that second quarter of play. Bounced down in the centre. Tapped away by Ebert to Hodgman. Up towards centre half forward, but dual for Victoria. Out wide, left centre wing and finds Turner. Turner now coming onto the left boot. He uses his pace to get away from Marksman Morris. Cloak uses strength. The ball coming to ground. Corns now to gain possession. Onto his right boot and kicks short up towards the right half back flank and finds Morris. Morris to the centre. It wasn't a good looking kick from Morris. Picking in the van, grab when not in possession and must take the free kick in the centre of the ground for Victoria. 86 plays 78. Victoria in front. 29 minute mark in this quarter. Centre half forward goes the ball. Button of South Australia. A high kick up towards centre half forward. Picken, chest mark and a safe one for Victoria. The back up on very quickly here by Folds. Out towards uh, the left half forward flank where there's a chance for Turner. The ball on the ground picked up by James of South Australia towards the centre. Good strong play here by Lindsay. Hand pass to Ebert. Ebert then looks for Graham. Graham put under the pup there very quickly by Tuck. Too high, says the umpire. Graham with the free kick. Allowed to play on in front of the mark. Long kick to the right full forward puck. Oh, oh well good played football well. by <laughs> Dool. Great play indeed when Jonas looks like he had that one all set up to take the mark. Dool just came through and knocked it brilliantly away from the South Australian player. And we've got to throw it in the right full forward pocket. Davies to do the ruck work. The ball tapped away by Victoria's Crow over towards Tuck. Matt Heavily, chance for Bill Pickin. Back up by Moore. Over towards the right centre wing where Flower has a chance. Taken on by Klomp. Flower still goes in pretty strongly. The ball picked up now for South Australia oh. by Klomp and caught holding the ball. So it's Klomp who was the star for Carlton in their premiership win last Saturday being caught holding the ball. Right half back flank for Victoria with Dunstan to take the kick. There's a kick in towards the centre. Dempsey pushes it further afield. Button having trouble there. No backup. Oh, well done by Hodgman. Over to Morris. He gives it to Corns and he's at half forward. Good play, South Australia. Down towards full forward. And the mark, and it's a great mark down there. Looks like Andy Bennett. And Bennett 30 metres in front. And the difference is eight points at the moment. Fave Victoria, we're just over the 30 minute mark in the second quarter. There has been 13 goals scored in this quarter. Great quarter of football here at uh, league headquarters at Subiaco Oval. There's Andy Bennett lining it up now. The siren uh, can't be long away. This would be a valuable score to South Australia. Allows for the breeze. He's allowed well. And the 13th goal on the board. And the difference is two points. Australia is certainly... Uh applying the pressure. Victoria trying to do too many pretty things and not taking possession of the ball, Frank. A good mark, remark there, Kevin. I would agree with you too. And they've got to get right down and get on the determined side now and uh, take charge of this game. Here's Dempsey tapping to Tuck. Tuck puts Bartlett under a lot of pressure. And, of course, consequently, when the ball goes up towards centre half forward, rugged play takes place and James will take the free kick for South Australia. Could have been the opportunity there for uh, the ball to be forced quicker downfield by Victoria, but uh, fiddled around a little bit, and we see Max James with the ball. James now. South Australia full of running. James kicks to centre half forward. Dempsey oh. into the air. Gee, Jonas went up high. The ball on the ground. Morris kicks hurriedly. Marked by Victoria's Crow. The hand pass a little bit astray, but taken finally by Folds. Left centre wing, Nan Curvis to mark. And a saddle put in there by uh, Corns, but the umpire rules in favour of uh, the Victorian player and then Curvis. Up towards centre half forward. Dempsey, Button, Cloak, all the big fellas. Nobody on the ground. Pace of reins. Good football. One bounce. Burst towards goals. Steadies and kicks for yet another point. 13th kick to Jeff Reigns. Yeah, he's done a lot of damage. Yeah, he's done a lot of them and kicked a lot of points too. Victoria on the scoreboard moved to 12 goals, 15. South Australia, 13, 6. Three points the difference. 34 minute mark in this quarter. James to take the kick. Another good kick get us out there. Blights had 10 and Ebert 10. Turn a nine and corn step. And there's a long kick towards the centre of the ground. Morris there trying to get his kick. 
picked up by Button, but it's out of play. Well, the crowd are umpiring the game over there. They said it wasn't, but the boundary umpire said it was. And we're 34 minutes in a long quarter because a lot of goals have been scored. Dempsey, near a poster button, had a great duel in this quarter, these two. Looks like holding a ball. It isn't. Play on, says the umpire. It's at half forward. Picked up by Michael Turner. The speedster. Away he goes. Towards full four, looking for Cloak. Well picked up by Bartlett, but he's offline and through for the minor score. And the South Australians put a lot of pressure on Vicks in this quarter, Kevin. Yes, and it's certainly paid dividends because they're not far behind and uh, they should go into the, into the rooms at halftime with a lot of confidence. Michael Taylor. Well, the 35 minutes are gone at the moment. The clock will run out at the moment and uh, a long kick towards centre half back. Corns in the air and takes a mark. A great player, this fellow. I saw Ron Barassi in the crowd a while ago. I wonder what he's thinking at the moment. <laughs> Back it goes to the centre. Rick Davies gets it over. Hodgman. Half forward flank towards Morris. Chance for South Australia. They're fiddling. Jonas pulled off the ball. He's at half forward. Andy Bennett. Oh, a shocking hand pass has gone astray. But Jonas uses the body well. But he's well tackled by dude. Some great tackling out there by both sides. Max Crowe's got it. Gives it to Nan Curvis. Back it goes to Foles. He's at half-back and get Victoria out of trouble. Well, they've got the ball on the left half-back flank and Victoria now drive to the centre. Dempsey knocks further downfield but tucks out of position. James, oh, nearly comes back into trouble but hand passes very quickly to a teammate there in Phillips. South Australia at the right centre wing have found Morris. This left footer goes now towards the uh, right half-forward flank. Big pack up. Nobody can win it. In comes Graham. Oh. Moore overruns the ball, taken on by Blight. The oh. Victorian defence very, very desperate at that stage, and there was a bit of a mix-up taking place, and Graham receives the free kick. So a big chance now for South Australia to come back and hit the front. Graham, who has, uh, let's see, has already kicked uh, a goal for South Australia. The distance shouldn't be beyond him. Is he accurate enough? He makes no mistake. A good goal from the boot of the South Australian Michael Graham. Yes, that's put them in front and uh, a valuable goal. Michael Graham uh, burrowed in for the ball well then, fought hard for it, but he played for that free kick and used his uh, football experience. Well, the clock's running out of bounds at the moment. The <laughs> clock's gone to 35 minutes. It's gone over that. 12-16 Victoria, 88. Trail South Australia, 6-4, 90. Two points of difference in favour of South Australia. And there's Button and Dempsey again, but it's Dempsey this time. South Australians gaining confidence in this quarter. Corns is in trouble. Comes once more to the flank to Fry. And he's holding the ball, says the umpire. And can Victoria get another goal before the siren? Gary Dempsey. A long kick towards full forward. Here's an opportunity. Right into the full forward position. Chance now for Peter Moore, is it? Puts it under his boot. And he's put it through for the minor score to make the difference one point. With the siren due to go any tick of the clock. And the breeze, uh, perhaps it's stronger out there than we think, Kevin. It's hard to tell from here, but um, definitely favouring the other end. And uh, it's a great game at this stage, uh, Frank. Uh, South Australia have impressed me. Oh, they certainly have, and they've shown a ton of determination. They've got it now through Ebert, taken on very quickly by Tuck. Chance for Turner. But South Australia come back through James. Over to Button. Right half forward, oh. Frank. Use of the body there by Davies. Pickens hurt. South Australia with a loose man through Bennett. Right full forward pocket. Kicks towards an open goal. Oh. And a great kick from the boot of Bennett and puts South Australia further in front. Well, he had to kick that goal. It was a fantastic shot by Andy Bennett. He's fourth for the game so far, but he ignored three teammates who were right out in front of the goal square area and uh, they would have really rubbished him if he hadn't missed if he had not missed that goal but a great effort by south australia uh, rick davies using his body well at center half forward yes and four goals to andy bennett 12 17 89 victoria 15 6 96 south australia great game of football here in this state of origin carnival corns comes over the back of the pack in comes flower now it's picked up by reigns he's a danger player under the flank now for victoria socket on there Gunston it was. Flower centre half forward. And holding the ball while the South Australians in this quarter are tackling hard. And there's another kick going to Bruce Lindsay. He's at half back. Wastes no time. Puts it towards Hodgman. And well picked up by Hodgman. Ebert in trouble. Gets out of it. South Australia doing all the attacking at the moment. 
comes further field now to Lindsay. Puts a beautiful pass to Malcolm Blight. Well done, Bruce Lindsay. And Malcolm Blight, 50 metres out directly in front. The breeze over his shoulder. And we're about 40 minutes into this quarter now, I think. As Blight has a kick, a long kick. Will it make the distance? The score, nothing. One point. Yes, one point to make South Australia 15-7. 97, a great quarter of football by both sides. The plaudits of the crowd here. Lead Victoria, 12-17, 89. Comments, Kevin Murray.